Sigler, I just got paid. You know what? Did they, though? I bet they didn't. I bet they're waiting a long time before they get paid for that. So it's something like two years before they get any music for that, I bet you. Ian Burt's looking at me in the other studio, <laughs> thinking I'm just waiting to get paid too. OK, thank you for listening. You're listening to WSR. This is Live Day. James is on a holiday, so I've got control of the buttons, so God knows what might happen. In the meantime, we have a returnee. We only had one other returnee, I think, this year. But this lady came to our second ever show that we did last year. And it is, of course, you, you, you'll know her. Like I said earlier, everybody knows that she is everywhere, unless you've been living under a rock. It is the beautiful Esther Turner. Hey, How yeah. are you? You okay? Yeah, I am excellent. You've got longer hair. Uh, yeah. And it's a different colour. It's a bit bluer. A bit bluer, Perfect. yeah. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, great, thanks. How are you? Good. I'm so happy to have you back. You're do- Thank you. You're doing so much, and she is an award winner. We, ha- oh, we only have the best on this show, <laughs> don't we? So congratulations. Thank you. Birmingham Music Awards Best Pop Act. Yeah, that was awesome. That's, yeah, I was really like stoked to have that one, because I was you? nominated for th- three, but uh, yeah, that was the one I kind of What really were the other wanted. two you're up for? Um, best Music Video yeah. and Best Female. Oh, and you didn't get best female. No, I was really glad I got the pop on though. Oh, good. Yeah, I can imagine. Okay, because it's difficult to define your music, isn't it? Because it's a little bit of this and a little bit of that, yeah. and you rap as well now. Yeah. You did a video with Max Bandicoot, was yeah, it, yeah. in your dressing French. gown? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Uh, check it out on Facebook. Max Bandicoot, Esther Turner. They're both in the dressing gowns, and he's rapping in French. You're rapping in English. Yeah. What was that all about? It was kind of just a bit of fun, but uh, he's a really great artist. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we just kind of wanted to mix each other's kind of, like, style, I suppose. And uh, Rapping in French is sexy, isn't it? Isn't he good? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know about the dressing gowns, though, mine, to be fair, but, you know, you in never know. In most of his videos, he's got all dressing gowns, so if he ever has someone collab on his videos, everyone has to wear a dressing gown. So if I invite him in here, he's... It probably, if, yeah, maybe. He'll be in his dressing gown. I haven't got a dressing gown. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm not even gonna think about what I could put on. I'm gonna invite him in just for that. I want to see James Levette in dressing gown. He's gonna have like a superhero dressing gown. I can bet you. Okay. So last time you came in, I think you just released Tequila. Yes. Now you've just released another new song. Yeah. Do you want to tell us about that? Yeah. It's called Never Change. Uh, I've got a music video for it on my YouTube channel. Yeah. Um, and the course, not in your dressing gown. <laughs> not in my okay. dressing gown this time. <laughs> but I am in a pink frilly dress. And right. it's kind of the opposite to what I would ever wear in a million years. Oh, no, I know, I saw I'm a it. Tomboy, but um, and I was like, it's, <laughs> I went like this on my phone, <laughs> just doing large. It went, yeah, it is Esther, blimey. Um, so yeah, the kind of song is about not trying to be someone you're not. Mm. And um, in the end, I think I'm wearing like my own suit and uh, I'm wearing a hat and things and just yeah, trying to be my, myself, myself and not someone I'm not. But uh, yeah, that's the song's uh, called Never Change, and it's just about yeah, being true to yourself and not letting anyone like push you around and I think that's it has to be said especially in this industry in the music industry people try and be somebody else yeah when you're good enough you know a lot of the times you just do you you know yeah. you're, you're good enough for who you if you try and be somebody else you're just always going to get compared to to that person yeah, it's um, going to be different it is it, absolutely right and but for you I don't think there is anybody we can compare you two because you do so many different things so you're all in one book you're all encompassing Thanks. put it that way which is good <laughs> um and you're a joy last time i saw you i think it was at the mailbox outside they had a little stage outside oh, yeah. and you was there and i was standing there and the crowd, you didn't even look at me so i'm oh, like sorry. okay <laughs> good, esther you're all right um but no you you're everywhere any event that's going on there's esther you you you're just great what's coming up for you now you got any festivals um i'm doing some local ones i think uh i'm doing one in wales as well Are in you? september so looking forward to that one. <laughs> Have you played over there before? <laughs> no, no. That's a completely um, different audience. I've gone over there to do like walks and things, but never to play. So that'll be fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, I've got some more songs to release as well this year. Do you feel, because you're releasing a lot, a lot of artists release a lot, do you feel because it's so fast these days, how people listen to music and buy music, do you feel a pressure to keep releasing quite close together? Uh, yeah, I do actually, uh, and I think to keep yourself on social media uh, and not kind of just like lagging behind on social media, you know, you want to keep people interested, so I'm it's constantly work. releasing stuff, um, and it's kind of like a lot of money as well yeah. involved, and 
pretty much all the or everything I earn goes back into my music. Yeah. So um, yeah, I'm just trying to make sure and keeping on top of it all. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think because I think people used to release like one album, perhaps three songs off an album or an EP, but now they're releasing single, 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 yeah. and then an, an album, and it's, it's sometimes two albums in a year. It's it's a lot these days. I think yeah, especially for like an unsigned artist. Yeah. Um, it's better to release your songs as a single because you get to make the most of it then. Yeah. Uh, and that's why I tend to do like videos and visuals with each song and I drag it out for as long as I can, maybe like a month or two. Yeah. And then I'll be on to my, kind of my next song, but I'll still be promoting all the songs at the same time. I'll tell you um, one thing you haven't done because you've done everything. You've done fest. You've done everything. You haven't done Eurovision. <laughs> 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 Isn't that a goal? Well, I have to wear a glittery dress if I go on Eurovision. <laughs> yeah, no, we just spoke about doing you. You just, just got to do you, otherwise uh, you'll yeah. feel authentic. <laughs> oh my goodness! Do you, did you watch it? I didn't know. I've seen a lot of people on uh, Instagram watching it. Do you think it's had its day? In your opinion, as an artist? Um, yeah, I. Is it ever say something that I cringe that... a lot in it? <laughs> you know what? I think sometimes some countries they deliberately try and be something different to try yeah. and shock people today. I think it's lost. It's where it is. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And I've never ever met an artist that thought I would love to do Eurovision. It's not ever been a goal. No, no. So yeah, no. Stay I just feel it. like yeah, you have to kind of be crazy on those. As an artist, you have to be you know wild and do something different and shock people like you said yeah and you'll always be remembered for the one that come last in Eurovision yeah wasn't thinking it's how'd you come back from that yeah. no it stays your eyes so you're doing just fine <laughs> right. same Madonna did you see it no I've heard a lot about it and apparently I don't know mm. I she came on with Future but she wouldn't have put those two together <laughs> um, and she didn't fall out she, there was stairs involved she, she didn't, didn't fall, fall over but she, at the very end then she deliberately fell back with him so okay. whether she's taking the mickey out of herself there I don't know but okay. she looked great she's um, she, I think she's, she tries to stay relevant which a lot because since she's yeah. been doing it for 500 years you know I, I bet it's hard work for her but, you know what like, she's kept her career going for that long I think that's hats off to her for that like. yeah but I don't think I don't know whether she has to think so much about her music anymore because people will buy it because it's Madonna. Yeah, yeah. If a lot of other artists release some of the songs that she's performed as there are now, it wouldn't get anywhere, but people, because it's Madonna, I think, you know, but for all credit to her, you know, because yeah. she's like 900 years old now or something and she still <laughs> looks like, hey, she's still moving about. She's still going. <laughs> yeah, she wore flat shoes, well, it was nearly flat shoes, so she was safe. Okay, what are you going to play for us today? I'm going to do my new single, yes. Never Change. Without the dress. Yeah, without the dress. Okay, over <laughs> to you. <laughs> Thanks. It's been a long time coming. I tried so many ways. No one could part us, honey. We could start a craze. Release the best in me. I'll release the best in you It's kind of a relief that we could be self lit the truth I don't want to see you like this If you were the golden I would miss I don't mind taking the risk No, I don't see the issue Never change Never change They think we're strange It's alright, 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 alright Never change Go about it. We got a lot going on. Break tradition, a crown it. No, we don't need a reason. Cause I don't wanna see you like this. If you were to go, then I would miss you. I don't mind taking the risk. No, I don't see the issue. Never change. Never change. In me, I 
release the best in you It's kind of a relief that we could be I self-lit the truth I don't want to see you like this If you were to go, then I would miss you I don't mind taking the risk No, I don't see the issue Never change Never change Anything was strange It's so alright, 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 alright Never change Never change Anything was strange It's so alright, 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 alright There will be another time Always stick to the best part Only we can make it right Melody's starting to distort And I see it's not over The old me, I know her There's no way she can't stay Yeah, no way Tracing it all back to you You could show me how it's done Waking in the afternoon Could you tell me I'm enough So I see It's not over The old me I know her There's no way She can't stay Yeah, no way Cause now We're all good Look ahead Look straight forward And in the end We'll be all good All good All good So look ahead Look straight forward And in the end We'll be all good No way me i know her there's no way she can't stay yeah no way cause now and then things get awkward and we'll pretend that we're all good look ahead look straight forward and in the end we'll be all good now and then things get awkward we'll pretend That we're all good Look ahead Look straight forward In the end We'll be all good Step back, see it's wrong Cause you're not here the way they talk I feel the need to go along with it And I've run away many times I've been done Help me see the light when I think there's none Feel the need to go along with it I 
Would you be the way to the great escape? Could you be the way to the great escape? Another lie, a different person. How could I? Just another twice. I feel the need to go along with it. Cause I, I need to feel like me again. Would you be the way to the great escape? Esther Turner. You know what? You make me feel all warm and stuff, and I feel like I want to have a drink in a good way. <laughs> You know, it That's makes you feel it. all nice and relaxed and your music and your lyrics are so inspirational. Thank you. So with that in mind, what would you say, what would your advice to be to somebody wanting to get into the industry today? Um, I would say uh, practice makes perfect, literally. Um, so keep trying, keep learning new songs, learning new ways of kind of like progressing. Um, open mics, those open sort mics, of things. Yeah, exactly. Uh that's how I started off was going to open mics and you meet so many people that will help you and encourage you to keep You've going. You've busked as well. Didn't you go down yeah. to London not so long back? Yeah, so remember. I've got a busking licence for the undergrounds in London. Um, All right, no one likes to show off. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, it's a great way to expo get exposure yeah. and fans and followers and, yeah, opportunities as well. Um, oh. Busking in Birmingham is also great. Uh there's lots of people busking, so... People are scared of it. I'd, I'd be scared to busk. I understand why, because mm. um, it's obviously not great, especially if you're, like, you're a young woman. Yeah. And I tend to busk quite late as well. Um, so, but honestly, it's a lot of fun as well. You kind of take the good with the bad and... And yeah. you get to meet people, you get to meet other yeah. artists and... Definitely, you know. there's loads of buskers. If you go down New Street any time, there's so many buskers and they're always usually friendly, so you yeah. can ask them for advice or... There was a guy who had a big drum kit right outside the Apple shop and I think everybody had a petition to keep him there, Yeah. yeah. If, you, if you remember. So, my last question before you go. Who is your hero? Oh. Musically. My lads have more than one. <laughs> Three, <laughs> did. Okay, two. <laughs> um, okay, well, I'd say my... Can I say my family? Okay. Just because they, they told me to start singing in the first place. And that's the best support you can have. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Um, and then, like, idol-wise, like, in music, I would say um, Ed Sheeran. He's pretty cool, isn't he? Because he's done all the busking and... He posted one of the most inspirational pictures I've ever seen from an artist. And it was a picture of him as a child in front of the L2 and then a picture of him now in front of the L2 selling it out. Yeah. I think that's one of the most inspirational things you can, yeah, you can see. But thank you for coming in. No, thanks and for having me. And finally, how can people get in touch with you and keep up with all things that you're, where you're going and because you're yeah. everywhere? <laughs> um, I tend to post quite a lot on my Instagram at the moment. I feel like Instagram's the way. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, I post all my shows on my Facebook page um, and Instagram and it's Esther Turner on all of those. Um, okay. If you're looking for the at, it's Esther T Music. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I've got some more videos on YouTube as well. And you're on Facebook? On Facebook. And I think a lot of people are moving from Facebook onto Instagram now, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. <laughs> okay, but once again, thank you for coming back. Thank you. Being our Thanks second returner. And um, we'll keep playing your, your music on our show as we do, thank and we you. wish you all the best. Thanks very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, and we'll be right back after a little bit of this.